Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to do a introduction of a product that's been out on the market for a little bit, but I think it's produced by a company that's lesser known and therefore maybe hasn't had a chance uh, for a lot of people to take advantage of. So again, I wanted to introduce this product. This is the Infinite Air by Tex Energy. So a lesser known company, but it's a portable wind turbine. So it allows you to take this around with you, go ahead and use some wind power and generate electricity for your small electronic devices. So I'm going to talk about the unboxing, the assembly, the size, weight, build, and kind of the concept of this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, Infinite Air wind turbine. Give you a quick glance at the box. Feel free to pause it at any time so you can go ahead and take a look at all the contents here and capabilities. Um, I'm getting this device through eBay, so I did not buy it direct from the website. Uh, so the box is still new, unopened, uh, but the plastic has been damaged a little bit. But there's a idea of what's inside the box, and here it reads the actual contents. All right, let's go ahead and get this cracked open. And I've got this here for some help of measuring a couple of the items once we open this up. So let's go ahead and slide this out. First off, the box itself. Okay, this opens up. I've got a quick start guide showing some operation and assembly. Nice. This is the unit in its carrying case. So it looks like it has some molly webbing on here and some additional straps so you can go ahead and attach it how you would like. The zipper seems to be quite sturdy. Ah, tassels need to be attached a little better. Okay, let's go ahead and take these items out. So tripod. Go ahead and take this out of its own case here. Get that quickly measured up. So looks like it's about 20 centimeters or on the other side about eight inches tall. That's the tripod. The blades themselves. Individually packaged, nice. Looks like about each one's 15 centimeters and about six inches long. Looks like we got a cable that's going to connect to the proprietary adapter point here. Three pin inside. Looks like it's got some waterproofing and then a female USB type A. generator itself so it looks to be about maybe eight centimeters and about three inches let's see what else is in here the front cap so the diameter about six six and a half centimeters about two and a half inches and nothing else inside here so I'm going to set this to the side for the moment okay so it looks like in the packaging that was all that I got uh, the contents here read 
I was going to get the turbine unit with a two pin connector, turbine blades three, blade mount cap, robust storage case, tripod, one meter extension cable, that's this guy right here, and then the quick start guide. So it looks like I got everything in the packaging here. So everything looks good. Uh, let's go ahead and get into assembly. So I'm going to place this upside down to give a white background for certain times maybe make it a little easier to see since I have a black table. Take these out. And these are engineered to be optimum for wind speed and feel pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and see how to assemble this. So it looks like they are notched, so you can only put them in one way. So if I try to put it in backwards, it's not going to work. If I put it in this way, it slides right down, nice and snug. Let's see if I can line this up. Three blades. I have some shaky hands, and I'm still able to do this with relative ease. So there you go, that's what that looks like there on the front. To assemble to this, this is threaded, threaded, gnarled, and I'm going to hold this and begin to twist that into place. All right, and then kind of twist that against here until snug. Spins pretty freely, has a little bit of, of course, resistance. And then to attach this, I am going to, let's see, undo this, which allows this to rotate freely. This is a standard tripod mount, so I can attach it to nearly any tripod that I want. to twist it the other way. All right, so that's now secured onto there. And then this is collapsible, so nice and user-friendly to go ahead and give you some height. Uh, and then these come out. And as you can see, they have holes in there, so you can put some tent stakes in it to hold it securely. And these have a little bit of resistance to them. So it feels as though you can bend them to whatever point that you want to hold steady. And then this telescopic part right here, uh, let's see, it is saying open and close on this. So to close, I'm taking it, I'm going to spin it. Let's see, how would I do this to secure it? When I spin it from the bottom, it seems to secure out. And there you go. There's the unit assembled. And with the legs closed, I can fit this whole thing in the frame. That way you can get kind of an idea of sizing. Centimeter wise, it looks like at the tip on the top, that would be maybe a total of 300, 400 centimeters and then about 16 inches. And then with the legs extended even further, that's probably going to give me an extra maybe 10 centimeters or 4 inches worth of additional height. All right. This is made of aluminum, plastic, polycarbonate. This feels to be a metal composite gripped feet for the tripod legs. And overall build quality, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, its weight is 626 grams, about 1.3 pounds.
pounds or 22 ounces. And the concept, small your char uh, charge your small electronic devices by the air. So I will follow up this with a, a future video on some of usage with it. This was to assemble it together, give you a concept. Sorry for the close-ups, uh, but I don't have a, a recording studio to do this with, uh, with great ease. So I hope you like it. Again, this is the Infinite Air by Tex Energy, and you can get that from Tex Energy's website, texenergy.com, $130 US, and about $40 in shipping unless you can get a shipping discounted. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care, like, subscribe. Thanks.